Welcome back to my final morning report chart appraisal on Monday the 10th of August with me which pro market analyst at Antep Markets. I'm going to look at gold now and I did ask the question when I was looking at silver earlier um, whether there was any sort of follow or feed through into this gold chart and what we have got in, this, in the silver chart is a possible base pattern. That base pattern I suppose equates to a sort of a move on on this gold price probably above this sort of uh, I mean there is a neckline at one of uh, sorry 11.05.60 if I just go on the uh, intraday chart uh, you can see this sort of neckline that comes in at 11.05.60 now that sort of equates to that equivalent of uh, $15 on silver and I said that silver is putting pressure on that upside and uh, I think if it breaks that it could well um, be a near term recovery if you got that recovery on gold it, the equivalent of that would be just a recovery to unwind back towards this big breakdown level of uh, 11.31 which is that old big November low so I'm basically just getting at the fact that I think that these are just uh, un it would just be an unwinding technical rally. I don't see it as being um, a significant bottom in the gold price, and then uh, I think it would be sold into. But also, we haven't had the completion of these base patterns yet, or p prospective base patterns. Certainly, um, on this gold chart, the the, uh, the possibility whoops, going the wrong way of this being a base pattern is less than than on silver. I mean, you're having these momentum indicators unwinding or certainly the RSI is unwinding it's not even back up at 40 yet and it's still basically going sideways it's not I mean it had a couple of days moving higher sorry wrong one a couple of days moving higher on the gold price on Thursday Friday it's slightly up on the day today two bucks but nothing too significant but still we're trading underneath 1100 bucks um, and you're still obviously therefore underneath that big 110560 resistance so it's it's just a consolidation phase at the moment. It's nothing more than that yet. Um, you've got this um, pick up in the stochastics, which is yes, is it's a positive um, positive in, um, uh, indicator on the chart. MACD lines have also actually crossed over, but I still just see them just as un unwinding technicals. They're not they're not sort of suggesting to me this is, there's a big sort of bottoming process going on here. I think it's going to be um, just unwinding. A little bit of that oversold momentum, which continues, and I think ultimately that will give um, the the bears another chance to sell, um, maybe around that eleven hundred bucks mark. I mean, if even if you did see that, as I said, even if you did see the move above eleven oh five sixty to complete, arguably complete a base pattern, I, I don't see it going very far. I think eleven thirty would be the limit of it before it rolls over. So th um, I suppose there is a, a prospect of a near-term trade to the upside, but I think at the moment you cannot call that because you haven't had the price breaking higher. Um, you've got these improving momentum indicators, arguably, but I still think that the fact that the price is moving sideways without them really gaining too much traction on this momentum, I think that is just a um, an unwinding of the oversold momentum that ultimately will be another chance to sell. So I wish you good luck in your trading on gold today. Um, watch out for these um, that these big resistances overhead coming into force again. Um, your initial levels, I suppose, you'd argue again. I mean, that 10, um, 10 uh, one thousand ninety nine fifty was uh, Friday's high, so uh, that is your initial resistance. But I suppose that's eleven hundred bucks really. And uh, below that, uh, in terms of the support, the initial level is uh, ten oh eight nine, and then uh, below that, ten eighty two sort of area. 1082.50 uh, seems to be in, um, in the support area. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you again tomorrow.